Hi, in this video, we're going to talk about labels, tent responses, and dealing with tickets. So the first thing you want to do is create labels, a great way to sort or organize your labels based off perhaps service that you offer or a product group, etc. So for this, let's create this label, I'm calling it new, new product, new product A, and save the changes. And then let's go create what is called a canned response. Canned response is a great way to quickly reply to tickets with a canned response. So click on the add canned response button. I'm going to call this actually new product A response. And then type in the actual content of the response. And one of the things that you can actually use are, are merged tags, which will pre-populate uh, some of the contact uh, data. So for this example, let's pre-populate the requester name. So that will go back to the requester and let's say here are our, our help articles for this product or whatever the message you would like it to be. And then associate it with a label. So I'm going to associate it with the new product A label that I created earlier. So hit save. And then the next step is let's take a look at a ticket and address it. So let me just refresh this page and look at the tickets. So in the ticket area, you can actually filter by users, groups, uh, you can filter by labels, uh, due date, etc. So let me just go into this one ticket here and to add a canned response, just click on the canned response, select the canned response, and you see it actually populates. And then to close or act on the ticket, you can send a reply or you can also send a reply and actually close the ticket. I hope this was helpful. Thank you.